Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 4. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 13 of Book 4. And in this proposition, we are going to take a pentagon, equal angular and equal lateral, and we are going to draw a circle inside of the pentagon such that it touches each side of the pentagon. So to do this, the first thing we're going to do is bisect the angle at C and D. And where these two lines intersect, we will label it F. Next, we will draw a line from F to the base such that it is perpendicular to the base. So this here is a right angle. Next, what we do is use point F as the center of a circle, choose the radius of FK, and draw our circle. And this circle will touch the sides of the pentagon. So how do we prove this? First we draw the line BF and now we look at the two triangles. These two triangles have a common side, an angle that's equal in both of them, and since the pentagon is equilateral, BC is equal to CD. So we have side, angle, side. In this case, that means that both triangles are equal in all respects, which means that this angle here will be equal to theta. Now the pentagon is equal angular, which means that the angle at B, the whole angle at B, is equal to the whole angle at D. Well, the whole angle at B will now be 2 theta because that's what this one is. So if this is 2 theta and we subtract theta off of it, we're left with that the angle A, B, F is also equal to theta. And similarly, we can demonstrate that each one of these angles has been bisected. So by drawing the lines from the vertices to the point F, bisects each of the angles of the pentagon. Now let's draw perpendicular from F to CD and from F to BC. And we look at these two small triangles. In these triangles, we have two right angles, and we have two angles here that are equal and we have a common side. So we have angle side angle, which again means these two triangles are equal in length, which means that FH is equal to FK. And similarly, we can show that FH and FK are equal, and FG and FH are equal, or in other words, that all of these lines are equal which means that if we use F as the center of our circle and any one of these lines as the radius, it will pass through each point. In addition, because FK was drawn to be a perpendicular, this is a right angle, which means that the line CD touches the circle, the line BC touches the circle, and thus we have inscribed a circle inside of our pentagon such that it touches each side of the pentagon. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.